let's try this again slightly different so beans Pea beans and let's do a few more just because I've got quite a lot of fibre Okay, tag on, so I don't lose any now. Hot water. Okay. And I haven't pre-soaked all of my fibres. So we're just gonna go with it for there. See what happens. I'm going to try and put a little bit at the bottom of each fibre. Uh, that might need to be dry. I think I'll get this to go in as well. Which has been pre soaking in some mordant. So this hasn't been taken on the red cabbage colour. I don't know if I've tried it with the black beans, this one I don't think I have. So that will be interesting. So. Um, yeah no, this ain't gonna work. Okay, so leave that one. We'll do a separate jar with that one. We'll do the same thing in a separate jar. Okay. So let's try this then. Get in there. Right. So let's pop all our fibers in there. Then grab our cabbage. Hmm. Actually I'm not going to have enough cabbage to do this another experiment but that's okay so this can be our last one with this just going to carefully add some hot water there rest of our hot water there we go so set up maybe with this one we'll try the beans and red onion see how that compares to our superwash sock yarn
I'm hard as not to show you my thumb because my <laughs> lip wax didn't work. It's nothing drastic, it just, yeah, don't need to see it. So, here are our jars. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see the colours, but if this stays with this nice purple at the bottom and this pink at the top, that would be beautiful. We will see. Um, with this one, um, it's a little bit. Yeah, the uh, the beans started sprouting because they're not completely submerged. So we have some beans growing. <laughs> so I'm not sure how this one's going to go. So we'll do this one first. Let me just move my wash tub out of the way. Grab my other tub. Get rid of the beans. Wow. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. So. So, just pop that over there and grab. very green at the bottom. I 
and then I'll get rid of that later. Now, and yet again, I forgot to bring the washing of liquid in. So, mm, interesting. Interesting. Some nice dark mossy green and some splashes of blue. I might do Oops, splash everything. Um is knit this up on my knitting machine once it's Oh, um, once it's dry, and then try dyeing it again, maybe. I don't know, we'll see how much colour we've got left. Because there's some, oh, I'm not sure, it might be too much uh, plain, but I'm not sure. I've literally just splashed that all over my legs. Fantastic. Right, so. Wash up liquid. There we go. Let's pop a bit of that on. Try and keep my thumb out of the way. It's difficult because it's on my right hand. Interesting yarn. Possible. All right. dry for a minute now for the next one so grab 
garbage out. I'll just drop that in that jar for a sec. Tip out this really smelly water. Pulling out our fibres. Oh, oh! If that stays, that's going to be beautiful. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness! Look at that. Gorgeous. Colors. Right. Put that there. Wash it. Colour coming out. Okay. So there's a lot of colour coming out of this, I think. This is staying nicely. That looks good. Okay, I think we're almost done with the colour bleeding. That's good. I really should remember to set up my ring light in here when I'm doing this. And then you can see the colours a bit better.
Okay then. If this yarn keeps its colour, oh my god, it's going to be beautiful. There we go, but now we wait for it all to dry. So this is what we've got. So we've got this lovely lilac colour there. And a sort of pale off white pinky colour there. This is lovely. Look at that colour gradation. From the dark to the dusky pink. It's very nice. And we've got this sort of <coughs> Dusky pinky, purpley lace. And this is more of the lilac kind of colour. And then this yarn is lovely. So we've got this sort of dusky pinky purple there. And then again into the deeper purples. So let's compare that to this with just the red cabbage there's a lot more pink and that's got more of the purpley blue tones in it so that's lovely definitely want to make something with this then we've got this cotton which has got a sort of greyish colour uh, we might try some tie dyeing with some food colouring on that because it's a bit meh We've got some interesting colours in there, but and it does look quite tie-dyed. So maybe it's all been creased, but it's yeah, could be a bit more exciting. So this is our um, experiment with the red cabbage and onion skin. So the onion skin is giving us this real green colour and then no it was black beans actually wasn't it black beans on this yarn I wanted to test it on this yarn that was it sorry it can be quite a, a while between these videos from start to finish so I forget so there's a lovely colour um kind of wish I could get a bit more of that on there I suppose mm, maybe we could try something I was thinking maybe of doing some ice dyeing with some Kool-Aid on the middle where it's not got as much colour. But I'm not sure. Maybe the beans would be nice, a bit more of that. I don't know, we'll see. Watch this space. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you for watching that and I hope you enjoy. I hope it was interesting for you. My little explorations with the colour combos and hopefully we'll do some more soon I um, haven't actually got any more ideas lined up at the moment I've got some more yarn bases to play with um, I'm going to do a little test to see if they are what they say they are because sometimes when you order these things they don't you know they're not what they say they are but we shall see um, I definitely want to do a little bit more with this somehow. I mean, it's quite chunky, so it doesn't really fit in the jar very well. So maybe not more so the dyeing, but we'll figure something out. Okay, so thank you again for watching, and I will see you again soon.